Okay, so now we got everything set up on Git. Uh, we're going to start building our layout. Uh, and so, actually, a lot of this is going to be really easy with uh, because we learned about that stack view. Um, so, so follow along. It's going to be. It's not going to be bad. Um, but maybe it's not. It's not the way that you would think about it doing it that first time. So, first thing I'm going to do. We have that grid of buttons. I know that that's going to. Well, so. When I first decided to do this project, I knew I was going to use a stack view because I got all these layouts of buttons. So the buttons themselves are going to be horizontal stacks. And then each of those horizontal stacks is going to be in a vertical stack. So I'm actually going to put that vertical stack there uh, first. This is this is where it like if you were doing this on your own, it might take some playing around. You might not you might not think. You might not be sure exactly what you want to put down first. Do you start putting the buttons first or whatever? Uh, in the end, it wouldn't matter. You just have to play around with it more. The easiest way to do it is going to be to put down that, uh, that vertical stack first. So let's look for the stack view. We are going to put that vertical stack. Okay. doesn't really matter how we put it right now uh, because we're just going to add constraints. So bottom and sides all zero and then here's here's a key for this size screen we're actually going to put an aspect ratio we're going to going to constrain the the button grid to a specific aspect ratio and in general if we think about those buttons except for that bottom row it is four buttons across and five buttons down so i want that aspect ratio by default it's just picking something else 20 to 11, I'm going to say four to five. Okay. And that's going to give me that perfect size again, maybe just for this screen and we can kind of play around with it a little bit later, but uh, for a general phone, I like that idea of having uh, like having the buttons all be basically square with that four to five ratio. Okay. So I have that, I have that going. Uh, the next thing I want to do is obviously create, one of those bottom or one of those rows. We can do top row first or bottom row. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. Bottom row is going to be different. So let's do let's do a top row first. And then, and then we'll actually see how how easy this ends up being. So uh, still looking for that stack view. Now we're going to be doing a horizontal stack view. Okay, putting that in there as a child. Let's actually make sure that top, that top one is vertical. This one, we do want it to be horizontal. Uh, okay, so then we're gonna start adding our buttons. Okay, we can actually just click this from here. Instead of placing it directly in there, I guess we could. I just wanna make sure that it goes in that, that child stack view. So I'm gonna put it right in there, okay. Uh, so this is our top row. Yeah, this is our top row. Uh, this would be, let's say the all clear button. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. So we got these, the all clear button. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make these bold and 17 text color is going to be white. And the background is going to be dark gray. Okay. Uh, and then, so I know I have four buttons. So I'm going to click on this button, do control C and then control V, V, V. Okay. So now I have four buttons in my stack view. Uh, I need to make sure to change that stack view to distribution fill equally. Okay. So we got those going. Uh, this last button, it's not going to be dark gray. It's going to be, let's say system orange. And then you can, you can do the, the ordering of the operators, however you want. Uh, in, in my example, division was on top, right? We don't really have a button for division. Just putting that, you could just put the slash. That's fine. But we actually, we can add symbols and emojis right in Xcode. Okay, so 
so you go to the edit menu, emojis and symbols, and I already have it as frequently used, but I'm going to look for divide and just use that divide symbol. Okay, it's going to put that in there and it ends up looking kind of small. So I'm going to change those to be a little bit bigger, right? So I'm going to make that that 25. Again, it could be kind of, it could be anything. Uh, I'm going to change these to just clear. And then what did we have? We had uh, plus, uh, plus or minus kind of like changes the, the sign. Okay. So again, that stack view made that pretty easy. The, the thing that we need to do next, we could, we could keep adding buttons. Actually, let's, Let's add just another stack of buttons really fast. Is that the best thing? Yeah, let's, we're gonna add another stack of buttons really fast just to see how quick, how quick this can go, okay? So since we already have a stack view, I can do the same thing like I just did with the buttons. So I'm gonna highlight that stack view, do Control C, Control V, okay? And right now, again, it, this top stack view isn't necessarily filling equally. We can, we can make that fill equally if that's what we want to do. Okay. Now these bottom ones are going to start being numbers. So we're actually going to change these colors. I just, I just shift clicked at all three of them. So shift and click. So, or you just, you click on one and you just shift click other ones and it just uh, changes the colors or like it allows you to like change the properties of multiple items. Okay. And then these numbers are seven, eight, oh, eight, and nine. Okay. So adding these buttons is pretty easy. Um, we're going to keep adding more buttons, but actually, there's a couple of different ways that we could add borders. And kind of change that border color. Like we want the we want that nice grid. There's no property here to add borders to. So we're going to learn a couple of different ways about that. But uh, we're going to do that in the next video. So stay tuned. Uh, we'll see you in that next video.